Now in this video, I'm going to show you one of the basics of database administration, DBA. And there are a huge number of jobs for DBAs as well as for SQL Server writers, TSQL writers. So we've got this database. Unfortunately, it's not backed up anywhere. If disaster happens, then I've lost all of the data. So one of the requirements of a DBA is ensure that everything is backed up. Now there are ways to automate this, but for this time, I'm just going to do a manual backup. So I'm going to right and click on my database and I'm going to go to tasks and I'm going to backup. So the computer is then saying, okay, which database are you wanting to back up? So this will back up all of the tables, views, procedures, and more complicated things like users, logins, you know, more security conscious stuff. So I want to back up this entirety of this data. I can say where I want it to go to. So I can click add and say, I want it to go elsewhere. And there's lots of other options that I could go through as well. But for now, this will work. So I'm going to click OK. And it's now backed up. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to tinker. I'm going to slightly adjust the data that's there. So select star from transactions. Where the purchase order ID is equal to seven. So we have three items totaling 58,000. So I could just say sum of line total. So 58,000. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to alter that data. So I'm going to edit the top 200 rows. And instead of this being 14,000, it's going to be 148,000. So now when I run this, it's given me a total of 192,000. So let's say you realize something's gone wrong and I want to get back to my earlier version. No problem. What I need to do, close all of the windows. So just copy that um, so I can use it again. And I'm going to go into tasks and restore this database. So it's found a database. Let's restore it. Click OK. Now it's not letting me do this because I've, I've still got this report open. So let's close that. And there we go. It's now restored my database. So you need to make sure you've closed every single connection, whether it's in Excel or SQL Server reporting services or anything like that. So now I'm going to reopen a window. So you remember this was $58,000. It then got changed to so like $190,000. We've then gone back to an earlier version and we've gone back to $58,000. Our backup and restore has worked. Now there's a huge amount more that's available in database administration, but this hopefully can just get you a little taster of things, security being very important, making sure all of your users and logins work, that people don't get access to more data than they should, for instance. So that is your first steps into database administration.